today we're going to be showing you how to make this macrame swing. Measure your wood to 24 inches. You can make your swing seats as wide or as narrow as you'd like, but 24 inches seems to be pretty universal for adults and children. Cut the wood with a miter saw. If you don't have a saw, you can ask your hardware store to cut it for you. Next, you'll want to sand all the edges. Measure one inch from each edge on the corners and mark an X where the two intersect. Take your drill with a 3 4 inch spade bit attached and drill holes on each corner using the X as your location for starting. Next, I sealed the wood with a matte finish. You can paint or stain your seats first if you want to. Now it's time to measure your rope. I measured about 260 inches for four of the pieces and the other two I measured about 150 inches. That creates six pieces total and three of them are for one side of your swing and three of them are for the other. You'll want to make sure that your string does not stretch. Mine had a little stretch and it made it a little more complicated when attaching the seat. But if you do have rope that stretches a little, it's not the end of the world, and I will tell you how to fix it at the end. Next, we're going to take the carabiner that came in your hanging kit and attach the ropes to it. You should have two carabiners per swing. Fold the short piece of rope in half and then put the loop in the middle through the front of the carabiner. Then reach through the loop from the back of the rope and pull the front strings through the loop. Repeat this three times on each carabiner. For the longer outside pieces, you'll want to fold the rope where the inside piece is about 75 inches long. This will make the outside pieces way longer than the rest, but that is what you want. Now each carabiner should have six pieces of rope hanging down. We're going to use the outside pieces to create the macrame design. First, take the piece of rope that is furthest left and place it over the other ropes, creating a four shape. Place the rope that is furthest right over the left string and then under the middle ropes and then through the loop of the four. Then pull both ropes to tighten the knot all the way to the top. You will repeat this same knot over and over again until you reach the length you need. The design will start twisting but it's okay, that's exactly what you want. Before you get to the end, you'll want to know how long your macrame pieces should be. To figure this out, you'll need to measure from the place you'll be hanging your swings all the way down to the ground. You also need to know how high off the ground you want the swings to sit. For reference, you could sit on a couch or a stool and figure out what seems the most comfortable and then measure from the ground up to that item. Subtract this measurement from the other and you'll have an idea of how long your macrame pieces will need to be. Make sure you keep in mind that you also need to consider the length of the carabiner in that number. When you get to about 8 inches away from the length you need, stop tying knots and split the ropes into two groups. Braid each group with a regular three strand braid and then tie a knot at the end of each. Now it's time to attach the rope to the seat. I wrapped the ends of each rope section with tape so it could fit through the holes. Once you get the ropes through the holes, tie a knot on each rope right under the wood. If your rope has stretched like mine did, you'll want to make these knots a little loose so you can stretch the swing out a little. To do this, you'll just install your swing wherever you're going to hang it and then actually sit on it and your weight will stretch it out. And it's not going to unstretch, so once you fully sat on it and stretched it out, you can adjust your measurements accordingly. Once you're certain your measurements are right, then tie the knot under the wood really tight. You may even want to tie two knots to make sure it doesn't slip through the hole. Next, you'll tie the two ropes on each side together. This would be easiest if you had another person to help you hold the rope down while you tie the knots really tight.
make it seem a little nicer, we're gonna grab a scrap piece of rope to finish. Start by grabbing all the ropes and adding the scrap piece of rope. Make sure that the end of the rope is facing upward and further up than the knot. Loop the scrap piece upward and grab both of the pieces together. Then start wrapping the other end of the rope around all of the ropes. There should always be an end hanging out at the top and a loop hanging out at the bottom. I wrap the rope around about six times, but you can make it as long or short as you'd like. Once it's as long as you want, take the end of the section you've been wrapping and put it through the loop at the bottom, then grab both ends and pull. The loop will be pulled up into the wrap section and it will be hidden. And make sure that you pull them both really tight and it looks really nice and there aren't any little loops hanging out. You'll just have the two ends hanging out, so just cut the one at the top. You can cut the bottom if you'd like, but I just let it hang down with the rest of the ropes. Measure the distance between the holes on each side of your seat to know how far away to hang the hooks from each other. And then take this measurement and measure it wherever you're going to hang your swing. We are hanging ours on our pergola. Check your packaging to see what size drill bit you need for the hooks, and then drill holes where you have marked. Install the hooks by hand. I use a screwdriver to help twist the hooks in and get a better grip. When the hooks are almost in, it's pretty hard to twist it, but you'll want to get them all the way in for the most secure attachment. And once the hooks are in, attach the carabiners to the hooks and you are done. 